what is going on guys it's your favorite youtube mechanic back here again and uh, what i'm going to show you this time is i've got a nissan micro here i mean it could be any car this is a nissan micro but it could be on any other car uh, i'm going to show you how to adjust the rear handbrake right we've got guys coming here oh the handbrake's not working everything you'll need to change their shoes and everything not necessarily we can just go ahead and adjust the handbrake and the handbrake should be absolutely fantastic so uh, without further ado let's go well first things first I took the wheel off wheels off what i'm going to do now is i'm going to flick this cap off right i've already done it on the other side so i'll show you guys there it is as you can see the cap uh, cap comes off and on these normally the, the drum will just come off on some cars on this one it doesn't you have to take the you have to take the center off so we have to get a size 27 or a 30 socket take that off and then uh, yeah this drum should just knock straight off okay guys there we have it as you can see here the handbrake's not working 100 percent but the uh, sorry the uh, the shoes are absolutely like brand new so what we're going to do now is we're going to clean it up obviously give it a good clean out this lever here make sure this is touching the handbrake can you see that stopper there make sure it's touching it exactly like that right if it doesn't what you have to do then is you have to go inside the car and you have to slacken it there'll be a 10 millivolt or a, a nut or whatever inside the car underneath the handbrake uh, lever itself or behind the handbrake lever there'll be an adjuster there make sure you slacken that and it, it absolutely touches that right if the lever is like pull forward you cannot pull forward you cannot go adjusting it right so make sure it's touching that then you can go there's the adjuster you can't miss it go whichever direction you want slacken it off or tighten it whatever you know you can see it there you know and uh, yeah that's what we do and another thing is another safety tip the abs sensor goes on the edge here make sure when you're handling the drum do not damage the abs sensor uh, the last thing you want is the abs not working as well so yeah i'm going to give it a clean out and i'll uh, adjust it up okay guys as you can see everything is cleaned up nicely nice blue there Ooh, nice uh, what we're going to do is there's the adjuster right you need two screwdrivers to do this right i'm just going to show you guys right behind there there's a little stopper uh, just uh, one minute i'll try and move it so you can just see it if you can just make it out there what i'm moving now can you see there that little i'll point it out to you when i'm editing the video right so basically there's a little stopper there where my screwdriver is going to go through now there's a little stopper there you have to move that with another screwdriver yeah and then adjust it whichever direction you want it to go you want it to go tighten it up or loosen it or whatever you have to move that that little plate there or else you're going to snap that plate off and then it's going to be big more trouble more trouble because that's the stopper basically stops the adjuster from going back in and everything okay guys the driver side is done the right hand side is done yep the left hand side rear is here as you can see uh, slightly a little bit different which is a, a little bit better so i can show you guys that's the little thing i was on about the stopper the little tin plate there can you see there moving it on the other side it's on the top this side's on the bottom hey ho it doesn't matter it can be on any side it's just a stopper so i'm going to show you guys how i adjusted the other side because this side i think i can get a screwdriver in there and just move the stopper out of the way as you can see there guys you got the tooth on the adjuster yep that's a better picture right what i'm going to do now is basically get the screwdriver in there and all you do is you turn it whichever direction you want it to go tightening it or loosening it you'll figure it out basically it's like a very hard to show you guys and do this at the same time so what i'm going to do is you can see the way it's moving that's what you need to move there right guys as you can see there i've just just got the screwdriver in there so you, just to show you guys there just there's the adjuster this one here the tooth and there is the little tin plate the stopper basically we'll have to move that out of the way so i'm going to try doing this one there we go put that there and then what we're going to do is on this side i think it's we have to go upwards so if we go upwards like this like that this one here should extend and when that extends obviously it's going to push the uh, the shoes outwards and hopefully that should go tighter so okay let's do this guys So I'll move that out of the way, yep, just about. And just basically 
very hard to do this with one hand, but we're going to soldier on. So basically, basically we've got the picture. We're going to adjust that until, it, or, you know, this part here adjusts, uh, you know, it uh, widens up a little bit. You can see more thread here, right? And then hopefully that should go tight. So I'm going to go do this, put the camera down and finish this off and then I'll show you guys. Okay guys, I've adjusted it here. Yep, and you can, you can see the, the thread here has just extended a little bit. We're talking about one or two basically and the, obviously the shoes are going to be pushing outwards if it's too tight obviously put the drum on it test it don't go fitting everything on and then it's too tight put the drum on it test it see if it's okay like i mentioned on, on the other side we just want it touching the the shoes we don't want it to be absolutely locked on this so you can't move it it should be nice and free as well as touching as well at the same time so what i'm going to do now i'm going to try it see if everything's okay and we'll go from there okay guys i've got it on as you can see it's touching and it's perfect you know basically just touching but not stuck on basically not seized up so that's the way you want it it's very very hard to, for me hard for me to uh, show you guys or describe it how tight it's supposed to be but basically just touching just so you can hear it just touching the uh, shoes but not uh, free enough for me to just move it with one hand basically so yeah, that's what we need to do. I'm going to put the nut back on, tighten it up, put the wheel on, and happy days. That should be done. Right, guys, all done. Dusted. Uh, hope this video helps you guys out. I mean, if it does help you out, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And uh, yeah, anyway, guys, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you're going to do that, dead easy. No messing about. You don't have to mess about at all. You know, take the wheel off. Everything comes off nice and easy. Even if you want to replace the shoes, that's the way you take them off. Uh, the clips and everything. I'll do another video on that later on and yeah anyway guys like share and subscribe to my channel hit the bell button for me hit that notification button for me uh, leave a comment in the comment section and i will see you guys soon bye